one of these just arrived in the post. What is it? It's basically uh, a watt meter, as it says. So it'll tell you the voltage, current, power, and hopefully energy transferred from a battery or other power source. This is 0 to 60 volts, apparently, and up to 100 amps, apparently. So this cost me £6.29 with free postage. OK, I'm going to connect it up to this massive battery and um, see what it says. Hopefully it won't go bang. I've got both battery terminals fused at 20 amps. Alright, I've now connected it up and nothing went bang. I've got nothing connected at the other end, yet it's saying 0.03 amps at some point. And up to half a watt. This is saying 13.15 volts. Let's compare that with my multimeter. 13.05 compared with 13.15. So it's about 0.1 volts out. Now for statistics, that's fine. Now let's put a load on it, see what happens. Okay, I've just taken the fuse out for now. So wiring it up um, isn't live. Now I've connected my mains inverter up. So in there with a switch and it's there. Alright then, fuse back in. And the inverter isn't actually switched on yet. Um, So apparently the power is varying a little bit. It may well be doing that, I wouldn't know. Now I'm going to put some load on it. My first load of choice will be this energy saving lamp, rated at... 12 watts. There we go. The power seems to vary between 10 and 20 watts. Just for the fun of it, I'm going to have a go at powering a vacuum cleaner rated at, I think, 1300 watts off of a 150 watt inverter. See what happens. No, obviously it can't do it. So now I've got a slightly different load here. Okay, so connected, I have a Yaesu FD857 uh, connected to a dummy load at the moment. And so we can see, first of all, how this battery works with this, and also how much power this draws, and just having a look at different things. It's easy to adjust the power because I don't have an adjustable dummy load for uh, 12 volts or so. So I'm going to give it a go on uh, 6 meters uh, currently at 5 watts RF. Let's see how much power this draws. Over 60 watts apparently. We're about on 10 watts. 77, 15, 20, 20, and my dummy load just overheated. 50, my dummy load doesn't seem to be properly heat sunk to its heat sink. So I only get a, a second or two at high power. Now if this meter is to be trusted, I can potentially use it to know when my battery is getting a bit low, because it says 0.214 amp hours just there. And if I'm using a 40 amp hour battery, such as the one I've got here, then I should know when I'm getting low. Hopefully.